but let's talk about you know one disruptive technology in particular that that's certainly generating a lot of you know buzz and, and discussion today, and, and that's you know artificial intelligence or machine learning, you know things under that that whole umbrella. Right. I mean, what what is you know what is the value proposition of, of these technologies, and and you know how will they help companies make you know better manage their supply chains moving forward? Sure, one of the ways that we use it internally as well as on behalf of our customers is analyzing historic data to uh, optimize pricing. So what is the right price for a particular shipment or for a group of shipments when you're bidding on a more contractual or year long rate basis, using all the information of the past and also what's going on in the current environment, coupled with what the expectations are for the future and building algorithmic pricing models to help support our people when they're when they're pricing freight to our customers and our carriers. Um, another area where we use it quite a bit is finding capacity. So it's pretty easy to say who moved to the load last time, but looking at all the available capacity that we have in our own data, as well as importing other data that are available from various sources and sifting through that automatically to try to augment our people's intelligence, if you will, by putting new ideas in front of them in an automated way. In a lot of cases, our people would have found the same carrier or the same solution anyway, but it makes it faster and more efficient for them. Um, another big area that we're focused on is helping people manage disruptions. So looking at historic disruptions in supply chains, things like a weather event, a severe weather event, looking at what they did in the past when one of those weather events happened, looking at the corrective aspect actions that they took and trying to automate and make those starting with making the suggestions of here's how um, based on your historic reaction to these events here's how we think you should do it and then eventually moving all the way to automatically taking actions so if there's a hurricane in the southeast and you know you're not going to be shipping out of a dc where did their order ship out of last time how where did you divert the freight that was headed to that dc the last time and use all those uh, types of analytics to figure out a prescriptive model and eventually actually completely take action and adjust their supply chains automatically.